Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today I will show you that my client, David Blake, is innocent of the charges against him. Let's consider the facts. The prosecution claims that David entered the electronics store with the intent to steal, yet they have presented no concrete evidence tying him to the robbery. Yes, a robbery occurred. And yes, valuable electronics were taken. But does that mean David is a criminal? I urge you to look beyond mere accusations. The key witness, <coughs> excuse me, the key witness, Jessica Moore, reported seeing someone flee the scene. But let's think critically about this. This. She described a figure in a black hoodie, hardly a definitive identification. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> in the chaos of the moment, under poor lighting, could she really see clearly? She admits she couldn't see the face. And that uncertainty is precisely what raises doubt. Now the... <coughs> now the... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now the prosecution would like you to believe <laughs> and the prosecution would like you to believe that fingerprints found on the scene belong to David, but let's be realistic. David is a frequent visitor to that area. He's, he's, His fingerprints, his fingerprints could have been there from a completely unrelated time. It's entirely possible he left them long before his incident. <coughs> it's entirely possible he left them long before the incident occurred. Moreover, Let's talk about David's character. He has no prior criminal record. He's a law-abiding citizen with friends. With friends who can vouch for his whereabouts that night. They were all at home enjoying time <coughs> enjoying time together completely unaware that this tragedy was unfolding <coughs> I ask you what happened Excuse me. <laughs> what evidence? <coughs> Pardon me. I ask you, what evidence do you really have? <coughs> the prosecution's case is built on shaky ground, relying on circumstantial evidence and assumptions. There's no video footage of Mr. Blake entering the store. No eyewitness accounts placing him inside during the robbery. Just a, just a frantic moment of uncertainty. 
said it. As for that, he's... He's... As you told little bird, as you deliberate, remember that the that the burden of proof lies with the prosecution. They must prove beyond a, a reasonable doubt. That David committed this crime. And I stand here today to assert that they have, <coughs> that they have failed to meet that burden. In a court of law, we. We are convicted based on suspicion. We convict based on evidence. And then this In this case, <coughs> evidence <coughs> simply does not exist. <coughs> so I ask you, with <coughs> all sincerity, can you truly say that David Blake is guilty? I urge you to find him. <coughs> Not guilty. Thank you. And excuse me. <coughs>